So let's say you want to do gaming on the computer and you need a mouse pad, but you do not have the money to buy a mouse pad because mouse pads, you know, they cost money usually. Well, I'm going to show you today how to make a mouse pad for zero dollars from whatever you have around the house. What are the key things you need to look for in, uh, in what you need to make, stuff like that. That is what we're going to look at today. <laughs> First of all, if you don't have a mouse pad, you could try a trackpad instead, because it's not really the same thing. Anyways, let's get on to the mouse pad. So, there are two... That's two. Yes, that's two. There are two key things that you need in a mouse pad to make it actually work as a mouse pad. And then there's a matter of making it customized to your liking. So, for example, for me, I like a really big mouse pad, like a really, really large mouse pad. And I couldn't find any cheap, like, there's some mouse pads at the dollar store, but they're, like, really tiny little things. Anyways, so, the key things that you need to make it actually work as a mouse pad are, one, you need a hard, flat surface, and two, you need it to actually track the mouse well. So, what I've got here, this is a floorboard, or at least it's a piece of a floorboard, and it is very good as a hard, flat surface, because it's hard and it's flat, like, very much flat. And you can use anything you want, actually. If you have a desk that's nice and flat, then you could use that as well for the uh, to put the mouse on, even if it doesn't track well. We'll get to that in a minute. So the reason I'm using this instead of using a desk is just because my desk is completely full, and I do have a slide-out panel on the desk, which we'll get to in a minute, but that is too skinny for my liking. So anyways, uh, by the way, if you hear any background noise in this video, sorry about that. It's uh, I'm not using my regular microphone, but um, there's... A lot of computer fans and stuff in the background. Anyway, so, hard flat surface. This is a floorboard, you can use anything you want, that's the size you're looking for, and I actually took two floorboards and connected them together. And then there's the tracking, which it turns out that a white sheet of paper is actually very, very good for tracking. It's, uh, the mouse slides along it really nicely and tracks very well. Anyways, let's get to my particular setup and Hopefully you guys can get some ideas for what you can do with your setup with whatever you happen to have around the house as well. So this is the mouse pad that I've been using for gaming for uh, a f quite a number of months now, actually. You can sort of see that the paper is kind of getting, like, curled and stuff because it's been there for so long it's getting a little bit of marks and stuff on it. But that's okay because it's just paper. You can just, this is actually scrap paper in case you're wondering what the... Uh, why there's like words and stuff on the top of it is just because it was in our recycle bin and I took it out because, you know, it was nice and flat paper. It was nice and flat paper, <laughs> and so it's nice. But anyways, this thing is really good because if we go ahead... So there's been a significant increase in the background noise level, so just, uh, sorry about that. But in any case, we can stand here, and it depends how fast you want your mouse to track in the game. So you could turn down the sensitivity and stuff like that. But in any case, we could stand here and we could move the mouse like this and spin around and around and around and around and around all within one motion. So we could actually do quite a lot that way, depending on how you have your, uh, your mouse set and stuff like that. So it's really nice. That's the reason for such a large mouse pad. That's, uh, that's the reason I wanted a large mouse pad. But in any case, let's get to the actual making of it. So making something like this is actually very simple to make, so it's not going to take long. So if, let's say, you wanted to use a desk, then it's a simple matter of... Look, my desk is completely full, as you can kind of tell, it's very much full. But it's a simple matter of, if you wanted to use a desk, just grab your plain uh, sheet of paper, and go ahead and, underneath the wires and stuff, go ahead and tape it down to the desk, across the desk like that, and then you've got your mouse pad. And that is all there is to it. Now, in this particular situation, before we get to the paper, there's another problem that you may run into, is that if you try to use something like a floorboard or some other kind of flat surface, you may find that your flat surface itself is moving around, like, all over the place. You try to move the mouse and then your flat surface moves and stuff. And so we'll get to a couple ideas for how to fix that in a second. So here's in this situation what we're starting from. It's the desk panel there. And there's two problems with it. One is that it was too small for my liking, but the other problem is, I don't know if you can tell this on camera, but it's kind of 
sticky a little bit. It feels like that, just sort of the finish on it. The mouse doesn't always move when you want it to uh, very smoothly. So that's the benefit. Those are the two benefits of the big mouse pad. But as soon as you put the floorboards on here, here's what happens. On this side, it has a soft part underneath it. And even if it doesn't have a soft part, if it just doesn't have something that grips very well, then you'll find that you can go ahead and it just spins very easily. And so you'll be doing something with the mouse and if you happen to do, it seems to be working right now, but occasionally I've done something before where it just like, oh, the whole thing just like moved and stuff like that, and that was not very good and stuff. So a couple ideas how to fix that. One idea is you could actually clamp it down. So for example, this is a flat kind of edge on the front, and so you could sort of use something to clamp it flush with the panel, and that's an idea if you're using this kind of a setup, but whatever your situation happens to be. Another idea if you're having your mouse pad move around too easily is you could do something like this. These are tires from a set of Kinects that I have. They're very nice thin tires, but they are made of, uh, I guess it's a simulation rubber. It's probably not really rubber, but in any case, we just go ahead and stick these down. So let's go ahead and stick them in a pattern. Let's put this one up here. We want to cover the whole surface of the floorboard so it doesn't start tipping over because this does add a little bit of height. So if we only put it on one end, then it would tip over and stuff or, you know, stuff like that. So now we've got it fairly evenly balanced. Those things provide grip because when you add a little bit of weight to it, they really don't move very easily. So let's go ahead and add the floorboards. There we go. And it helps a little bit. It still does move. But if you apply any weight at all, it really doesn't move, so it's kind of... It is not perfect, but it helps a little bit. So that is one idea. And another idea is you could... There are some things to stick it to the desk if you want to do that. Um, there's also... I've seen a green foam kind of thing that sort of holds things in place. Uh, so through friction and stuff. So that's another idea as well. You could do different things like that. Anyways, let's get on to the actual tracking surface. Ideally, you'd want something white just because it seems, at least in my experimenting, um, it depends. Sometimes other things work too, but it seems, seeing as this is an optical mouse, it seems that when it reflects off of the white surface, it works better often. So I've not really, I've not had any problems that I can think of with this white surface with the paper and stuff. But anyways, the difficulty with this setup is, as you can see, this thing is made up of three pieces of paper connected together, and the difficulty is how to actually connect them together so that it doesn't interfere with the mouse. So as you can see, I can go right over this join in the thing, and you can't really see it right now because the game's not doing anything, but I can go right over this join, and it doesn't interfere with the tracking of the mouse at all. And the way to set that up, because obviously to connect the papers together, you need something. Like, I used actually some tape like this, and you can use that. Now, the trick is, when you connect the tape to it, is to actually put the tape underneath if you can. So, whatever side of the paper you want up, just flip it over, and then connect the paper. You have to, um, you have to get them flush with each other. It is a very difficult, um, in terms of being, uh, being very precise kind of task to do, but okay, this can't be seen at all because it's over top of white paper. I'll be back in a moment. There. Now you can actually see the situation. So, what you need to do is get the papers to be exactly flush. So, the nice thing is that papers have a little bit of thickness. So, you can just go ahead and stick one there, bring the other one, and they sort of hit into each other and go right exactly where you need them to be. You can sort of see the line in the middle there a little bit, and then it's all about if you, uh, sometimes depending on what you do, you can sort of wrinkle the paper a little bit. That's an exaggeration there, but you can sort of do that, and then it's not lying flush, so the trick is to tape it down while it's lying completely flush, but if you do that, you just stick the tape on across the thing, and then you're good to go and then just flip it over because having a piece of tape, it tracks differently. So as you're, come on, stay there. As you're moving the mouse across, if you have a piece of tape there, then it'll sort of grab the mouse differently than the paper would. So you don't really want that. So put it on the underside and then flip it over. 
and that is basically all there is to it. Then it's just attaching it to whatever your hard surface is. So if you're using a desk or something, just probably attach it, I guess, to the outside edge of the paper. Or if you're using like this, like floorboards and stuff, then go ahead and come on, move out of the way, please. Go ahead and uh, attach it around the edge, stuff like that. That is an idea for you guys. So hopefully that video was helpful to some of you guys, giving you guys some ideas and stuff like that. And see you guys later. Yeah.